Hey everybody, today on Guys Playing Games, we are going through the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures missions that come with all the expansions. Uh, today we're doing the YT-2400s uh, expansion mission 10, Get In, Get Out. This is a built around Dash Rendar and his ability to stop and work through object or obstacles on the board without taking any uh, negative effects to him. So, uh, I am sticking with pretty much exactly the loadout that the mission describes in the expansion and then... Then Gian gets to kind of put together his own uh, squad to fly with. And you, what are you using? Well, I've got here a Punisher and a Defender. The Punisher has the Cutlass Squadron pilot, along with homing missiles, advanced homing missiles, and accuracy corrector. The TIE Defender is Rex the Rav, with veteran instincts and cluster missiles. Here I've got the uh, TIE Fighter on the sidelines, and another one back here, just in case one of my ships goes down in a fight on the end of the end phase, I can roll an attack die, should I get a hit or a critical hit, I get to pull in this fighter. Oh, which, I mean, either way he's going to get to use a fighter, that hit or critical hit just determines who decides where it's flying in from. Um, it comes in from one of the two neutral sides of the board, and uh, one of us gets to pick which one that is. But either way, he has an unlimited supply of academy pilots to chase uh, Dash Rendar down. Now, the main objective of the game for me is to go and collect these little tokens that are spread out the board. Um, they're uh, cargo tokens, and I just fly to them, flip it over. If it's a cargo cache that's full of something, great. Uh, if not, I have to move on to the next one until I've found three of the five. Once I've found three of the five uh, full cargo caches, I then have to just get off the board from whatever side works best for me. So, this is going to be fun. Did mm -hmm. I miss something? Well, only that my only objective is to kill him. Yeah. Which is usually his objective is to kill me, right? <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's get this underway. Right. Okay, so my pilot skill is seven, you're working with I have a two and an eight. Awesome. So you get to move your defender first? Yep. Straight three. Straight three. That's four and three. And any actions? Um, not at this time, no. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be doing a straightforward four. Now, at this point, um, because I've flown onto the asteroid where that cargo cache is waiting, uh, I'm given this additional action uh, to take where I can search and check the cargo cache. Uh, but it does take a full action for me to do so. Should grab this guy earlier. It is a cargo cache, so I'm going to put this guy. I'm going to put him over here. So I have one of the three cargo caches that I need to get a hold of, uh, and that's it. That's my action. Right. And this is a straight five. 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 Okay. And I don't believe I'm in range now. Okay. Uh, we can check real quick. Nope. Nope, pretty much not. Okay, so let's plan it out. Okay, so starts with you. Straight one. Straight one. A target lock. Target lock. On you. You sure? Not someone else? Pretty sure. Anybody else? Yes. Alright, I'm going to be doing another straightforward four, which will get me right here. And then, whoops, let me put that back. Uh, I'm going to be going ahead and using Lebo's ability to do a free boost action here, which I'm not going to be able to complete. Because even though I have the ability to land on top of um, 
I guess I can't do that one, but I might be able to do another. I, I want to try and curve this way, but instead I'm think I can do this down. Yep, I can. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Yeah, let's do this for a second. Okay. So pull this guy out and it is a blank crud. Okay, so I missed on one of these guys. Um, and then I also take an ion token as part of Lebo's ability. All right, now uh, banking one. Banking one. Okay. Uh, any actions on him? No, I won't be able to. Okay, I think that comes down to combat, and I can start shooting. Uh, let's actually no, I can't. So uh, I because I've got the Outrider title, I can only use my secondary weapon, the heavy laser cannon, which has a range of two to three. So GN ships are both within range one. I can't hit either of them at this point, unfortunately. I'm out of luck in attacking this turn, but that's okay. Shall we? Okay, starting with you. Straight three. Straight three. I do have that. Uh -huh. Okay, and I'm doing a lofty one. And which is going to remove that ion token for me. Uh, and then for my action, I am going to... I can't decide what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to use a focus. When in doubt, focus. Hard three. Hard three. There you go. Oh boy. Here. Okay, uh, and so now let's do some attacking, which I can finally do some attacking here, which is fantastic, yeah! I'm going to be attacking the TIE Punisher at range 3 uh, for 4, but as a secondary weapon you don't get that advantage uh, from the range, and I just have to change all of my crits to regular hits in this time round. So, mm, I have two focus and a uh, hit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use um, my other ability with, with Lone Wolf to re-roll this blank and it turned to a hit and then I'm going to go ahead and use my focus here to turn these to hits and then this guy becomes a hit so four hits coming straight at you. Three shields and one. So you've got five health left. Yep. Man, that is a beefy small ship. Okay, uh, that's it for me on there. Anything else for you? Nope. Okay, so time to plan. Okay, so starting with your Punisher. Banking three. Banking three. That's a banking two. Banking three. All right. Do you mean to? Block off that guy. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to be doing a hard one to the left. which should place me just barely, yep, on that guy. So I get to check this, and it is a second cargo token. So I've got two of the three that I need. Now we're down to the last guys. It's hard three. 
Show me to pull him again? Yep. There we go. All right, let me get this guy back on there. Cool. Um, and then I think that's going to be about it because we're not in range of anything, clearly. So uh, I think that's just right on to the next one, right? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. What's the Punisher doing? All right, he is doing hard three. Hard three. Do you mind doing that thing you do? Do that thing you do. We can just cut that out right later, right? <laughs> well, that could be a problem. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my goodness. You gotta stop flying your ships through each other. Okay, and now I'm gonna be doing a straightforward four, if you would be so kind. Certainly. And what are you doing? Oh, actually, you know what? I need to take my yeah. action. Uh, I'm going to be using focus on this guy. <clears throat> All right. And on the defender, begging two. Two. There you go. That's it. Dang it. I knew I should have boosted. Oh well. Alright, and so I would like to... Target lock? Target lock, yes. Okay. Kind of saw that one coming. Thanks for suggesting the action. <laughs> okay, so starting up at top of the defender at the highest, what is he going to be doing? Um, we're going to be cluster missling you. Yay! Okay. Cluster Missile, you can go ahead and read that. spend your target lock, discard this card to perform this attack twice. Fantastic. Alright, so I get my two defense dice. Ooh. Two evade. Okay, there's one. We're rolling on it. Blank. One evade! I have evaded your cluster missile. Go dash, go dash, woo, woo! Yeah, okay, so I, that's not actually that entertaining. Uh, okay, and then next I get to return fire with the 2400, and I think based on this, I'm gonna be shooting at this, my good old friend. How do you get his five health left? Yeah. So I can't kill him, can I? Ah, uh, rats. That's no fun. Um, well, close enough. I'm going to go ahead and attack him anyway, because if anything, I want to kill at least one of your ships, and that's the most likely to go, I think. Yes. So, four coming at you on the tie Punisher. Four natural hits. Okay. Ah! Um, okay, so you evade one and take three. Uno, dos, tres. So close, but not dead yet. Dang it. Okay, 
And now down to your uh, Punisher. Alright, we'll be doing your homing missiles. You cannot invade this attack. Dang it. One hit, one crit. Yep. Okay. Boom, boom. Back to planet. So, I'm going to, alright, uh, per your request, there's a close-up of, of that. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a hard one. Well, get that off there. Uh, and then I'm going to be boosting, hopefully through you. Yeah, I am. Right up onto there. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this off. And I'm gonna be taking my ion token right there. And uh, let's see, it is a, that is the cargo. I have my last cargo of the game. So now I just have to flee the board before he kills me. This game is boxed. <laughs> Banking one. Banking one. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure closest point to closest point. Oh no, I still can hit you. Uh, do, do you have any other actions you want, need to take for the defender? Uh, yes, barrel roll. Barrel roll. And here's your one. This is going to be hilarious. Oh my goodness. You just <laughs> God dang it. Should have just kept my mouth shut. Uh, okay, so uh, I am completely out of your firing arc. You're completely within my b donut, my safety donut of your donut. Goodness. Hole. You are inside my donut hole. Get out of my hole. Um, all right, and uh, and now we get to plan out our next moves. Hard three. Okay, hard three. I'll be taking a boost on that. What kind of boost? Forward one. Actually, no. Just a straight? Oh, sorry. Back it on. Oh my goodness. You might do it. You might keep me from fleeing by just shoving yourself in front of me because I'm going to be doing a hard three. In there. Oh no! Oh, you dirty, dirty boy. Alright, so following along the track, I end up right there, and we collide, losing our actions. And that is where I stay for at least one more turn. Gosh dang it. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, with that, I guess now we just get to roll the die. And you get to see who gets to choose where he comes in from. You do. <laughs> I hate you so much. Put the close up on that. Alright, here. <laughs> so that's what's going on right there. <sighs> I hate you so much. <laughs> okay. Well it's it's not it's not gonna make a difference though. Cause I'm about to get out to you here. Okay, so starting in the bottom, uh, you have a starting with two to two, the two fighters. 
We got a hard right one, or a hard, that's a left. Hard left, yeah. This is the dumbest strategy ever. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna help though. Because I'm still going to get off the board with my longest move. Straight one. Straight one. I thought you had it over there. Oh, here it is. I'm going to make her own little traffic jam here. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, why did I take all those upgrades? <laughs> and then I'm going to reveal my straightforward four, which as we can see, <laughs> carries me right through both of them. Off the board. <laughs> you off boarded your defender, who was at full health, which I loved. But I, honestly, he may have been more effective than he was at that point. <laughs> so, okay, a couple things right off the bat about how this all went down. Um, for one, uh, I immediately, or, or I didn't immediately, but my choice in this big loop really was effective for me, and I was very lucky that the last token on the board was the blank, um, because I was able to get the, the three pickups pretty quickly, and so I just jumped in, jumped in, came around, jumped in, grabbed another one, so that the number of turns that I had to take between picking up cargo was pretty small. <laughs> um, are you recovered yet? Uh, and overall, um, you know, with the heavy laser cannon, I was able to do a good amount of damage to the Punisher. I didn't really touch the Defender at all. Um, I think I was pretty fortunate in the way that things panned out because within turn two, uh, I was already passed outside or behind the firing arcs of both the Defender and the Punisher at that point, which I think was kind of pivotal in that. Uh, yeah. I got behind you. At I, that point, you were having to try and catch up. I moved too far in the first turn. What? I should have just stuck with like the straight ones and just waited here. Because the, the ships are right here and you would have had to go through here anyways. You could so, basically so could have sat just, there and just acted as a sentry and waited for me to just pass by and yeah. just you know start taking shots off at me. Yeah. So maybe a little bit too aggressive at the start? Um, definitely. I, and then after that, once I got behind you and I was able to pick up that third to or the second cargo and my third total token, um, I don't know what exactly you would have wanted to do to recover more than what you did. Because you, you came around and you were lining everything up. And, and the real kicker is, if that one hadn't been the third cargo I needed, um, we were lined up to where he would have been pushing me back and pushing me back and the, and the Punisher was in the right spot to start blocking me. Um, from moving forward, and so I think you would have been able to hold me off a little bit from getting that last token a little bit longer, giving the defender more time to come around and start hitting me pretty hard. Mm -hmm. But overall, I mean, the, the 2400 is a pretty beefy ship as it is with the 5 hole and 5 shield. And the boost is just ridiculous. Yeah. Makes it incredibly versatile. Or, or incredibly mobile. And it really well doubles its movement. Yeah, in, in a lot of cases. And there was at least one where, uh, yeah, right there, where I was able to scoot past you, mm -hmm. pick up the token, um, just because I had that the Lebo's ability to get past him. So, overall, that was fun, and it didn't take too long. The missions don't have to take forever. Um, it, you know, if you just have an idea of what you're playing with and the strengths, and you have a strategy set out, um, they can actually be a lot of fun. And it's it's cool to have these objectives outside of just a straight, you know, knock ever knock out your opponent completely. Um, but definitely I think, you know, little things like that, little misjudgments in, in mm -hmm. distance uh, and strategy a little bit can make a big difference in the whole game. So, cool. Till next time, everybody. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, leave comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback. Bye, everyone.